Welcome back. We're going to continue building our site. We've done the colors and now it's just a uh, question of uh, going through the various other stages one by one. Now at this point we can have a, a language left to right uh, such as English or, or right to left. So is the standard uh, left to right? You're going to put yes. Of course if you've got uh, a right to left such as Arabic or Hebrew then you're going to stick no for that. Um, now here we set the site's language. People wanted to uh, make sites in all sorts of languages and the easiest way of doing it is to set it here. Now the default setting is EN for English but if you want to set it to any other language just look at the language codes. They're in the members area. Um, for example French is FR, Spain is ES and so forth but check it out in the in the members area. Okay. Okay, so now we just have to go through the rest of the site builder and I'll quickly take you through these. I filled them in already uh, so we can speed through. So you've got the site title, the business name. Now this is the name that will appear um, in the top left hand corner if you choose the text logo. If you choose the image logo then it won't. Here you get to choose an image or text logo. So here we've chosen an image. If you choose image, you then have to select your logo. It tells you 300 pixels by 56 with a .png transparent background. Again, you just go and select it from your computer. Just have a... So you go and find where it is in your pictures folders. There's the logo. You select and put it in. Then the email address for the feedback form or contact form short description of the site or business this is for SEO purposes only no one's going to read that then the keywords then your first navigation link second navigation link third navigation link then you can choose a name for the gallery in this case I've chosen portfolio then whether you want another link in the top navigation bar we put this here because some people wanted to link the site to another site whatever site you want in fact you could give it a um, a click to call have a look in the uh, user manual for that in this case I've just sent it to another directory on the same website then the additional link you give it a, a name what you want to appear contact page name leave it at contact then you've got a heading for the contact section so um, this is uh, what will appear actually on the contact section so I've put here get in touch you could leave it at contact if you want or or put whatever you want there um, the more link now some of these uh, will be useful if you're creating a foreign language site so you want to change them to a foreign language uh, equivalent the next return uh, then the heading for the opening section that's what's going to appear on the front uh, opening page of the uh, website then the content that's again what's going to appear on the first page of the site the opening front heading for the second section content for the second section here I've put in a YouTube video um, this um, embed code is in the uh, U quick start guide. Uh, is also in the knowledge base on the web on the members area. Heading for the third section. Content for the third section. You can use uh, HTML if you want to. State with social media if you've got a Twitter account, and if you have, put the Twitter URL in. I've just got a general one there. Facebook, same thing for Google Plus, same thing for Dribble. You just say if you've got an account or not, and then put the URL in. Instagram and YouTube. Um, you can add content in the footer as well. So you've got to two areas to add content in the footer. Here we've got um, I've put in a link. Second footer, you can again put another link in or, or just text, whatever you want. The name for the gallery section, 
you can put whatever you wanted gallery this is the image uh, the content that goes just below that and then the images now the images I'm going to come back to in a separate video the first image you can just leave that as uh, zero one but if you wanted to change the name uh, of the image just make sure that um, when you come to the images folder here if it was zero one make sure you change that name to whatever you put in the software here. okay so I'd recommend initially just leaving them at, uh, as they are uh, each image can be given a title this is good for SEO and it also appears on the light box when people open up an image so we'll go straight through these six images and when you get to the sixth image it takes a few seconds and now the software asks you how many actionable buttons would you like these will be the buttons above the contact form let me show you where that is here now in the original version of the software that you just had one button but in this new updated version you have the option of having up to five buttons and, and they can all have whatever action you want whether it be a click to call click for directions click for SMS click through to a website whatever you want a bite you can make them into buy now buttons just put in the buy now code and that's what uh, this is here for so we're selecting two actionable buttons the first one we're making a click to call with a telephone and we're going to call it click to call and the second one we're going to do for click for directions this is Google Maps code and we call it click for directions you can put Google Analytics code in here then you can have extra content if you want I'm going to click no for now because keep it nice and quick for you you can hide the contact form if you don't want to have the contact form just click no and then you can have an uh, use one of the extra content areas to put an opt-in form if you want to and then with quickly you can change the uh, fields on the contact form um, for different foreign languages so if it's in English you might as well just click these through you can change them if you if you want to these are the alert messages if someone doesn't fill in the email correct properly for example so we've got a validator now on the form so if they don't put a correct email it won't let them send the form okay that's the message that they'll receive that they'll see once they've done the, um, click the the submit button on the form now you can decide to have a capture on the contact form as well to stop people sending spam contacts if you don't want to have the capture you just click no and you can uh, change the language or the message if they put in the wrong capture um, now you just put in the URLs of your videos this is for the video version only of course um, and here I've pasted in uh, the URL of the mp4 then of the OG now you need to make sure you have all three formats in order for it to work on most browsers and then finally just click the finish button now it's going to ask you where you want to output your uh, site so just you can make a new folder okay when the sites uh, when it's finished generating your site you'll see this message and it will also open up the folder for you and there you've got your website um, I'll leave that there for now and take you through in another video how to upload the site well first change the images and upload the site to your server Okay, see you in the next video.